Welcome to GrowSpark Elevate You. Today, we're diving deep into a powerful book that has revolutionized the way we think about leadership, Leaders Eat Last, by Simon Sinek. This book is not just a manual on how to be a good leader. It's a blueprint for creating a culture where people feel valued, safe, and empowered to give their best. If you're eager to learn how to lead with integrity and truly inspire your team, stay tuned. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insightful reviews and tips on personal and professional growth. Introduction to Leaders Eat Last Simon Sinek, the author of Start With Why, brings us another profound exploration of leadership in Leaders Eat Last. The title itself is inspired by the Marine Corps tradition, where officers eat last to ensure that their soldiers are well-fed first. This concept is a metaphor for the kind of leadership that prioritizes the well-being of others before oneself. Sinek's central thesis in this book revolves around the idea that great leaders create environments where their people feel safe and valued, leading to trust and cooperation. This, in turn, fosters an environment of innovation, loyalty, and ultimately, success. Sinek dives into the biology of human behavior, explaining how our evolutionary roots influence our responses to leadership and organizational culture. The Biology of Leadership – Understanding the Human Condition One of the most intriguing aspects of Leaders Eat Last is how Sinek delves into the biology of leadership. He explains that our behaviors are deeply rooted in biology governed by chemicals like endorphins, dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin. Endorphins and dopamine, the selfish chemicals. Sinek describes endorphins and dopamine as the selfish chemicals. Endorphins mask physical pain, enabling us to push through difficult tasks. Dopamine is responsible for the feeling of satisfaction after achieving a goal. While these chemicals drive personal achievement and survival, they can lead to selfish behaviors if not balanced by other influences. Serotonin and Oxytocin, the leadership chemicals. Serotonin and oxytocin, on the other hand, are what Sinek calls the leadership chemicals. Serotonin fosters pride and status, motivating us to work for the approval and respect of others, particularly our leaders. Oxytocin is the chemical of trust and bonding, encouraging cooperation and empathy. Leaders who focus on creating environments that promote serotonin and oxytocin build strong, loyal teams. Sinek argues that the role of a leader is to create a circle of safety, where people feel protected from external threats and internal tensions. When people feel safe, they are more likely to take risks, innovate, and collaborate, which drives the organization forward. The Circle of Safety, Building Trust and Loyalty The concept of the circle of safety is central to Sinek's argument. This metaphorical circle represents the idea that people are more productive and cooperative when they feel secure. Leaders who create and maintain this circle ensure that their employees feel valued, protected and empowered to do their best work. Case Studies, Real World Applications Sinek backs up his theories with real world examples, including companies like Next Jump and Barry Waymiller, where leaders have successfully implemented the circle of safety. These organizations thrive because their leaders prioritize their employees' well-being, leading to low turnover rates, high employee satisfaction, and consistent innovation. For instance, Barry Waymiller, under the leadership of Bob Chapman, treats employees like family, prioritizing their happiness and well-being. This approach has transformed the company into a global success, proving that when leaders eat last, everyone benefits. The Role of Empathy in Leadership Empathy is another critical theme in Leaders Eat Last. Sinek emphasizes that great leaders must be able to put themselves in the shoes of their team members. By understanding their struggles, challenges, and motivations, leaders can create environments where everyone feels supported and valued. This empathy builds trust and strengthens the circle of safety, fostering a culture of mutual respect and cooperation. The Dangers of Leading with Fear Sinek also discusses the dangers of leading with fear, a common practice in many organizations. 
Fear-based leadership might produce short-term results, but it ultimately leads to high stress, low morale, and high turnover. People in fear-driven environments are less likely to take risks, share ideas, or work collaboratively. They become more concerned with self-preservation than with contributing to the success of the organization. The Impact of Stress on Performance Sinek explains that chronic stress caused by fear-based leadership can have detrimental effects on both individuals and organizations. It increases cortisol levels, which can lead to burnout, health issues, and a toxic work culture. When leaders prioritize their own success over the well-being of their team, it creates a culture of distrust and disengagement. Leading with integrity, the long-term approach. In Leaders Eat Last, Cynic advocates for leadership with integrity, putting the needs of the team above personal gain. This approach requires patience, as building trust and a strong organizational culture takes time. However, the long-term benefits far outweigh the short-term gains of fear-based leadership. The Importance of Long-Term Vision Cynic highlights the importance of having a long-term vision as a leader. Leaders who are focused on long-term success understand that their most valuable asset is their people. By investing in their team's development and well-being, they ensure sustainable growth and success for the organization. Leadership as a responsibility, not a privilege. One of the key takeaways from the book is that leadership is a responsibility, not a privilege. True leaders are those who see their role as one of service, ensuring that their team has everything they need to succeed. This mindset shift from authority to responsibility is what differentiates great leaders from average ones. Practical Takeaways – How to Implement These Lessons Leaders Eat Last is not just a theoretical exploration of leadership. It also provides practical advice on how to implement these lessons in your own organization or team. Here are some actionable takeaways from the book. Prioritize your team's well-being. Always put the needs of your team first. Ensure they feel safe, valued, and supported. Build a circle of safety. Foster an environment where your team members can trust each other and feel secure enough to take risks and innovate. Lead with empathy. Take the time to understand the challenges and motivations of your team. Use this understanding to build stronger relationships and a more cohesive team. Focus on long-term success. Don't be swayed by short-term gains. Invest in your team's development and well-being to ensure sustainable success. Embrace your responsibility. Remember that leadership is about service. Your primary role is to support and guide your team towards success. Opinion and Conclusion Leaders Eat Last is a must-read for anyone in a leadership role or aspiring to be a leader. Simon Sinek brilliantly articulates the importance of putting others first and creating a culture where people feel safe, valued, and motivated to contribute their best. The book is both inspirational and practical, offering insights that can be applied in any organization, regardless of size or industry. Sinek's exploration of the biology of leadership adds a unique dimension to the book making it a compelling read for anyone interested in understanding human behavior and motivation. The real-world examples provided throughout the book give tangible evidence of how these principles can transform organizations and lead to long-term success. Are you ready to transform your leadership style and create a culture of trust, loyalty, and innovation? Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek is your guide to becoming the kind of leader who puts others first and reaps the rewards of a motivated, engaged, and high-performing team. Click the link in the description to get your copy today and start building your circle of safety. Remember, great leaders always eat last. Final reminder. Thank you for joining us today on Grow Spark Elevate You. If you found this review insightful, Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more book reviews and tips on leadership and personal development. Hit the like button, share this video with your network, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on Leaders Eat Last. Let's continue to grow, spark, and elevate together. See you in the next video.